I have a friend and his name is Ram. His, uh, he is a businessman and uh, his shop is really doing well. He is continuously uh, dealing in various types of transactions and earning handsome profit. Day by day his business is growing as like never before. And now he, uh, he is too much jumbled with various uh, transaction lots of uh, accounting terms he he is like uh, how he can uh, how he can manage all the transaction uh, 100 and how can he prepare reports on the basis of uh, uh, the transaction on uh, on the basis of transaction uh, hence he is taking interest in organization of whole business and for this uh, organization he came to me and he asked me to help him out to uh, to get uh, to get help uh, for arrangements of whole business i have suggested some strategic strategic uh, decisions and for for accounting purpose his business was like a almira a cupboard where lots of clothes are uh, lots of clothes were uh, at a single place and in very haphazard manner no no anything can be managed at a time let's uh, see the visual of that almira see that almira almira was full uh, full of uh, that almira was full of clothes uh, all t-shirts sarees pants and socks and all items jewelries were were uh, not organized hence that almira was like this type of hodgepodge and what i have suggested to that uh, friend is to uh, that uh, to my friend is I have suggested uh, him to classify to organize your accounts organize your transaction to get things at particular manner hence what I have suggested then I have suggested example a almira where there will be various type of various types of boxes this is an almira have blocks here he can put t-shirts here he can put shirts here formal shoe or formal shirts casual of ca casual pants party pants and socks and so more this is really good picture very organized picture as compared to this Almira. Hence, we are here want to discuss classification. That I have classified. This is the classification. All party pants will be here. All t-shirts will be here. All formal shirts will be here. Exact like in this case, exact like uh, this case, we have classification of account that means this this is uh, this is the case where we were we were uh, putting our accounts uh, we putting our things in particular place at very organized manner but in case of accounts if we will not be doing this then it will create hodgepodge and will not able to provide a proper report proper financial statement to you Hence, what we have did then, what we have done then, we have classified all the accounts on the on the basis uh, on the basis of uh, transaction nature. Let's see how we have classified the uh, classified uh, classified the accounts. This uh, which I will going to uh, tell you is. Uh, this is all about the tradi traditional classification 
and not the modern classification that I will be providing you in notes in your syllabus there is traditional classification I will be providing you modern classification as well as traditional classification in your notes but for this lecture we are considering or only traditional traditional classification of accounts let us have uh, classification of accounts classification of accounts have been classified in two broad manner first one is personal account and the other is and the other is impersonal account in today's lecture we will going to discuss about only for the personal account right because if i i'll make a video for personal and impersonal that will be too much lengthy okay hence we will going to discuss in this a lecture is personal account as this diagram is showing and this name is indicating the word is indicating that this account will be for will be for persons 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 company firms organizations this all of the things will come under personal account personal account is is for is related to persons only and in these in these in these we have three more classification sub classification we should say hence we will going to discuss this three in personal account first what we have seen is what we have seen here personal account is related to persons only and now personal account is sub classified in these three classifications in these three heads first classification is first sub classification of personal is personal account is natural personal account natural personal account means a person a human being which is which is the which is being created by god not any artificial person here artificial person means no any robot no any uh, artificial artificial intelli uh, intelligence machines will be uh, treated here here in this head in natural personal account we only consider here is human being which is created by god right and what are the examples of uh, uh, natural account natural personal account is you me all the names bus uh, but, but only is the name of single person that means i am kailesh mudidar jaitwa you and other your friends all are natural persons all will come under natural personal account right let's have second sub classification of accounts coming to the artificial personal account artificial personal account is a uh, a person which is created by group of persons which can be a company which can be a firm which can be organization in previous sub classification only one person can be considered in this in this classification we have groups of uh, persons teams of persons which is created by law or created by any other legal any other legal act artificial personal account has no physical existence you can pinch to your friend right you can pinch to your friend but can you pinch to a particular company can you talk with tata can you talk with tata limited can you talk with reliance limited no you will talk with their employees not there is no any existence of uh, any person whose uh, whose name is tata company limited 
obviously you can meet uh, Tata sir, Ratan Tata sir, but can you meet Tata Company Limited? No, that one is artificial person, uh, person that cannot be seen. That person has only has only paper value. No physical existence will be there for artificial persons. Hence, there will be no physical existence of artificial person. All artificial personal accounts will uh, come con comes uh, will come under personal account. Okay, artificial personal account is Tata Company Limited, Reliance Company Limited, Haldi Haldirams Private Limited. These all types of things will uh, will comes will come under artificial personal account. Coming to the third sub classification. Third sub subclassification is representative personal account. Representative personal account means this. Uh, this is the uh, this is the concept where you will you will going to record uh, record transaction on the name of person, but not directly. Here there must be a particular uh, term which will represent the person what I said represent the person here we can debit or credit a representative personal account and not to the direct person direct person will be counted in these two heads and if something is representing let's say I have given salary to particular person at a prepaid basis that means uh, he hasn't yet provided me service for this month but I have provided salary to that person for this month that means this is prepaid salary these types of concepts will come under this head this head okay in this head, you can, can get different salary, outstanding rent, outstanding rent received, prepaid rent, all these types of things come, will come under this head. This is all about personal account. In personal account, uh, will be, uh, we will going to take uh, in personal account in next video. Till then, thank you.